here. Alright, hello and welcome to Age of Wonders 3. We're going to be continuing the ha our campaign as a halfling sorcerer. Or sorceress. Well, same thing here, so... Either way, we finally managed to get our Eldritch Horror summons, so... That's not supposed to... Uh, the Steam UI is supposed to show up. One second, let me just go ahead and edit the uh, streamer mode. There's a streamer mode here, isn't there? Hmm. I'll worry about it later. For now, you're. Now, we're starting to get. Now that we've got the cosmic horrors, we could start uh, seriously thinking about how we want to beat the game. We could try for a unifier victory, like we did in the last match, or we could. Let's see here. I should probably go here. Yeah, unexplore, that'd be rather nice. Uh, lightning storm. Ooh. City happiness. Oh, yeah, that's great for wrecking havoc on cities. And of course, I could also do the very straightforward and also very practical. Oh, nice. Simply conquest victory. Simply take out all the arrivals directly. Or we do have a handful of these seals. I can unleash those and win that way. Should be very interesting. Trying the green angle regrowth for the next battle. Ooh, nice. Might be worth it for me to take. Oh. Uh. Alright. that way. That is an undead... That's a lot of undead, actually. I uh, should probably do something about those. Uh, let's see here. Those guys are probably going to attack me, but I don't mind if they do, because the stack here... Yeah, the node serpents and all that should be perfectly capable of handling those undead. Fix stun, ooh. That's one of the things that makes node serpents really quite good. Let's see here. Mm, might be good to get the observatory going. And let's see here. Wizard Academy. Additional units summoned. You know, let's do that, especially since it costs mostly mana and we have mana for days. Dang. These guys are good, but I don't think they can handle liches. Uh, Maybe. Call the Castle of the Lich King. Treasure site. As you can see, it gives them so many good things, but it usually has Dread Reapers in there, and ugh, I don't. I'm not sure I can handle too many of those right now. Maybe better to simply explore. Call Lightning Researched. Glyphs of Warding. Ooh, deals damage to trespassers. That might be worthwhile in case anyone goes to war with me, although so far everyone seems mostly peaceful. Docile, even. Oh, come on, you pieces of... 
Those guys really want to run away, don't they? You cowards. A hero offers to join. Archdruid, yeah, that's fine, I guess. And I'm not sure why I'm not casting Eldritch Horror. You can never have too many of those, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see here. Nourishing meal for healing. Let's see, our home up against now a uh, diplomacy menu. Dreadnought, they have a bit of fire. Warlord, they have a bit of fire, but mostly physical. They have dark. Arch druids mostly have poisons, so hmm. I'm not. Too, I probably don't need too many of those. Natural immunity might be worth it. Sphere. Time performs a melee unit. Ooh, chance to be stunned. Actually, Static Sphere looks very much worth my time, so let's go with that then, shall we? Hospital produced. Good, good. Temple. Uh, we kind of need the Siege Workshop, I think. Yeah, production values here are really, really low, so let's fix this problem then, shall we? Crosslings are doing coming along rather well, I think. Great temple, shooting rounds. Auto combat. Here we are. Yeah, I should probably clear out the Sphinx part here since we now have a time. Well, let's check this out, just see who's in here. Two Dread Reapers. Sorry, I'm not- I don't think it's worth risking it. Technically speaking, I can live without my leader, but... Very likely, auto combat. Take reward. Oh, I thought I clicked in turn. Over well, the moment, let me get another Elder Horror and then. Uh... Not enough money. Auto combat. Choker of the Great Matriarch. Take reward. 
Ooh. That's good stuff. We can just hang out in there for now. It's like the skill to research. Uh, Summon Zephyrberg. Degenerate. Inflict Star with a magical disease that weakens the creature. Ooh, let's go with sorcery, actually. Yeah. Upgrade your hero. Ooh, Inflict Enfeebling Fever. And Energy Drain is good to get next as well. Like I said, a leveled Necro can really load up the enemy with status effects. It's, I love it. He won a battle. Oh, nice. Confirm army movement. Uh, let's go with more Great Temple, just so we have more max mana. Ooh, observatory completed. Good, good uh, siege workshop. It's already been cleared out, eh? Champion race governs his team. Sarah in the Black. Okay, that's his home race, so he's pretty good for that. Summoner's Aura. Caster's summon units and units of magical origin regeneration within Toga Domain City. That looks really good. Six percent weakness to everything, eh? Could be useful. Ooh, hero leveled up. Um, Undead Slayer might actually be worthwhile. Worth getting smite actually. Maybe good to clear this out as well. Uh, you know what? Let's call that turn for a moment. Festivals of magic. Grand Palace. The more of those I have, the better. More Elder Chores, please. Observatory, Seed Workshop, Hospital. Good research. Someone's already been clearing these things out. That's probably an ill omen, if we're completely honest. Yeah, these guys are clearing out all these areas. Tiger outpost, oh dear. We need the 
hospital and we need it now. Enchanted walls. I yeah, asked some... They have a lot of really good stuff. General, let's go with Suffocate just to have it. Oh, level, leader leveled up. Master Illusionist. We're very close to that one. Actually, I should probably go with here just to... Get her some extra XP. There we are. Arcane Binding. Not bad, I guess. Oh, if that just says strong, then it's actually very easy to clear out. Probably should have done that one earlier. How embarrassing for me. Research. Mass stasis. Since surge of electricity, attempt to immobilize all enemy units for one turn. Double gravity. Flying units are put on the ground to prevent them from flying over walls. Rare disjunction's probably worth it, just to make sure. Oh dear, that city was undefended. Oh dear. Oh, Grand Palace. More of those, please. Uh, let's go with the hospital and then a Master's Guild. And never stop these uh, Eldritch Horrors. Yeah, someone was through here. But who? Mermaid. In lava. Well, why not? Deathbringers. That could have been nasty, and I'm glad I got them right away, otherwise Ernest would have taken this city and I would have really been screwed. Oh, come on, really? That was a dick move on the CPU's part. But I guess that's all the more reason I did. Ooh, Magic Academy. Reduce support units. Excellent. Solar Spire. Oh yeah, because I got all these. Oh, excellent. You guys just hang out here for a moment. This guy at champion one still. Ooh, let's just auto combat. Dang, that went way better than expected. Take reward. Ooh, this will be uncharted territory when I go here. Select skill to research. Unstable transformation. Target friendly units saturated with magic. To powerful magic transforms to a new unit of equal or greater power. The new unit is inherently unstable and will die at the end of battle. Units killed by the spell cannot be resurged. So basically their corpse is lost. Mm, sounds risky, but fun. I probably should have focused more on... Protector. Howlers gain tag. Ooh, now additional money. Sounds good to me. Ah, 
Ah. Must have been the necromancer that went through here then. Observatory. Well, actually, let's go with public baths, observatory, siege workshop. Sure, sorcerer's complex. Probable victory. A fallen angel, oh my. Life drain. This is extremely dangerous, actually. I think I should get another horror just to be safe. So you just stay there, and I'll summon Eldritch Horror. There we are. Grown into a village. Nice. Two... That outpost is growing extremely slowly. Northern Lights. A player's global mana increased by 20%. Leaders and heroes gain additional casting points. And you know what that means for me? More cosmic horrors. Racial governance up. I should probably go with more uh, economic, just for more happiness. If I want a unifier victor, I need a lot of... Ooh, seems bigger. got a city there. Looks like it's not undead yet. He must have just taken it. Well, I'm not going to risk anything for the moment. Uh, let's just sell it all for gold. Because we really, really need it. Stable transformation researched. Excellent. Chain lightning. Sorcerer tier 3. I wish I'd gotten that earlier. That is hands down one of the best possible spells I can get. Not sufficiently. Do I have any spells that can global spells that can help with the spellbook? I do not. I have plenty for offense and defense, but the druid is the one that gets additional. Well, druid and theocrats are the ones that get additional city growth. And dang, do I wish I had one of those right now. Well. Explored too, eh? Thanks for the time you joined my empire. Oh my, what's this? Empire complete. Multiculture. Be the first to control cities with five different races. Alrighty. You know what? Let's YOLO it and try attempt the... Huafar. Uh, builder's Hall and then Storehouse.
I'm sure there's a lot of treasure sites I've failed to explore over here, so... Become a vassal under my protection. There we are. The undead are definitely on our side now. Cosmic Horrors. Domain of Winter. Now like Arctic Terrain. You know what, let's go with Domain of Winter just so I can use that. Dread Omen. Conjure the Dreadful Omen. Target enemy city. Ooh. This will be really good for when I, if I decide to go to war. In fact, I might do just that. Cosmic Spray. Units within a one hex radius are dealt with damn all forms of damage. Energy Drain. Now that's really gonna be good. Well, far has grown. Excellent. Static electricity, all friendly units are now charged, gaining static shield. All enemies discharge. Ooh, that sounds really that actually that could really add up to some good stuff. Summoner's aura is good though. Oh good, this population is really growing. Uh, Master's Guild. The extra production. Sell all those for gold. Please and thank you. There we are. Stone walls. Frost castle. Unlocks production special racial units for the city. Tier 1 and 2 gain additional rank. Here's the thing, do I want to go with a conquest victory or a peaceful victory? Mm -hmm. Allied with you. Neutral, neutral peace. That's interesting, usually at least one person gets a... Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> Unexplored, eh? You know what? Let's YOLO the ziggurat then. Skilled research, warp domain. Randomly changes the terrain. It also destroys all roads and bridges. That sounds like fun. Victory conditions here. Hmm. The 
seals haven't been captured, so no one has seal charges. Once you've reached champion race governance, you'll be able to build a Union Tower. If you have 200 race happiness race or playing as Necro, you'll be able to build the Union Beacon light it. Winter. And that's grown to a metropolis. Excellent. Mm. Mm. Domain research. Select a skill to research. School of enchantment. Support units receive training. To oh, I forgot. Support units gain inflict stun. I should have gotten that a lot earlier, but my research is in pretty good shape, so. Oh good, production increased significantly. Produced the Builder's Hall. Okay, good. Let's see here. Only three turns because I did that. Nice. And you can do a laboratory after that. Because we do need to get the range up here. Oh my. You go there and stay there. Good. You... We are. We got him. Orgain of Ronald the Rover. Chain of Unlife. Gorilla, what's that again? Once per turn, this unit may retreat from combat without losing. Ooh, nice. Should probably give it over to Borkor the Vampire since uh, they're pretty focused on melee. Oh, wonderful. And you know what this means? Oh, Thunderstorm. That's really good, but Master Illusionist is the real winner here. Let's put the Brew Brother there to help protect this town here. Like production. Fire mm. Temple. Riders Hall and Guards Hall. Mm. Unity Beacon Tower, that's nine turns. How long will it take if I build where to build it here? Nine turns. Okay, so it's a fixed nine turns no matter what. Oh no, don't bother with that then. Could reasonably make an arcane item forge, though. With lick. Ah, wonderful. Uh, you guys can go that direction. But these guys. Crossling Apprentice. Yeah, just ones should be good. Elro Fron. Harbor Shrine. Prismatic Spire. There. That could have really gone badly. I'm glad it didn't. There we are. 
melee here was a bit gear dependent, but as you can see, they really pay off when you're done. money, so let's get rid of you. Here we are. Just sell for gold. We need lots more gold. Racial governance up. Stone walls now generate happiness. Age of magic. The arcane currents are awakened, enabling the caster channel massive magic. Cast any spell for half the cost. Oh yeah, that's the ultimate global spell for this particular... And that's really worth it, I can tell you that much. Wizard Hunters... Mm, could be pretty good, but we don't aren't against too many summoners. Lightning Rod Banner, again, would be good if we were against any uh, sorcerers, but we're the only sorcerer on this map. Control squad. Hmm. Weapon kit so gains fire, blunderbuss, and target friendly and ensure pikeman unit. What? Turn of the explosive. True sight. And some more defense, so that's good. We should be winning this match soon enough. It's just a matter of how I want to win it, I think. Observatory. Archangel. Probable defeat. Oh, wow. That could have really gone badly, but it didn't. Nice. Upgrade your hero. Yeah, I hope so. That was a lot better than I was expecting. Shadow Step. Teleports a short distance in tactical combat. Inflict a ghoul curse. Greater reanimate dead. Inflict curse. Sounds like a good time to start with the Unity Beacon. We 
Bitopia. Alright, let's go with more cosmic horrors. There we are. Alright, let me see what the races think of me. Broke peace through the independence, declared war and independence. Oh yeah, those are really hurting the modifiers here. guys are going to be busy for a while. What does it look like in here? Uh, let's change this and instead make a settler. I can't use the frostlings because they're not going to be happy in that lack of a location. Yeah, they're not going to be happy if I put them over here, but the Tigrans should be fine, since I, especially since I can get Heart of Blight. hero. Blood Brothers. Probably worth it, if we're honest. Production. Please go over here. Upgrade hero. Ah, excellent. Absorb pain's a little risky. More healing's not bad, actually. Monster Slayer, Divine Channeling. Converts. Now that seems like a useful utility. Orphophagel. Stone wall, please. Here we are. Take reward. Arachnid horde. Morale, the worst. Age of Magic. We definitely want this as much as we possibly can. Resurrect hero. Probably worth a spell of return. Can teleport city to or get to the owned the throne city. That's a good utility, so let's do that. Offers a tribute. More mana if you please. I cannot have enough of this. 
Alignment change to pure good. Excellent. Ultra bound souls and resurgence. Ooh, now that's a good one. Yeah, let's go with that. Great Temple's definitely worth the price. Oh, thank you for the watch. Or the follow. Self gold. Upgrade your hero. Natural healer will probably make healing a lot easier, so let's get, go with that. Let's go with a vision range upgrade just because it's good to have those. And that's good for now. I didn't clear that out earlier. It's a pretty easy spot. Upgrade your hero. Ah, wonderful. Inflict ghoul curse. I don't want inflict ghoul curse because I don't. I'm not a necro, and so keeping them all healed will not be very easy because I don't have too many sources of that. Mark of death. The unit's the slays mark for death. The slays this unit is marked for death. And mark for death is doomed and dies at the end of combat. Again, really good if I'm running a necro, but I'm a sorcerer, so. <laughs> melee strength. Yeah, let's go, let's go with more melee strength. Just because that's this character's specialty. Definitely get the great temple because I need as much as possible. And just ban and stop paying it. What's this? Oyster Reef. It's pretty good, but I'm not running too much of a naval seems. Healing on Necro plus that healing spells quite a lot of healing actually. Yeah, I know Necros have heal and dead and stuff. But I feel like that's a lot better if I'm dedicating to it, because it will really add up. And because last time I played a Necro, I was able to get quite a bit of undead healing, without, even with the limitations that they're normally supposed to have. I should probably put a city around here, too, but then again, there's not much I'd really benefit from that. Yeah, I just get some gold stuff that's probably not worth my time. Ooh, what's this? Rise of the Lich Queen. Soon a necro with armed with powerful items will roam the map. Dangerous. Ooh, spell of return research. Lester Elemental Chaos Rift. Chaos Rift is a lot of fun, but I should probably clear out some of the weaker ones first. Probable defeat, eh? But yeah, there's definitely something over here I need to take care of. Where are those guys coming from? Oh, wow. See, Shrine to the Fickle Mermaid bestows units fully. I'm gonna have to keep this hero here because the Lich Queen's gonna be attacking pretty soon. And I can't afford to be surprised.
very likely defeat. Oh my, well if they're coming to me, that's gonna be easier. But yeah, there's definitely some sort of undead spawning thing in this area. What are my leader's masteries? Uh, I just used the default uh, halfling sorcerer. So, uh, let's see here. Let's overview. It's here. Too wild and some wind. Wild magic is pretty fun, but I haven't been using it too much. Pandemonium. All units are displaced. If cast during a city battle. Sounds like could, pandemonium could be fun. Alright, upgrade your leader. Thunderstorm. Dealing an AoE damage without having to use direct magic is extremely good, so I think it might be save, good to save up for that. Probable victory, let's go. Here we are. Yeah, it was worth it. Ooh, High Elf Slayer. Meandor's autobiography. Ooh. Ooh. Meandor is actually a very important character in the story because he's Julia's brother. He left. He led the Dark Elves during the first game, and he died he did before the start of the second game. But then came back, and then he died during the ex during when the expansion of the second game. And so, where'd you get the Dark Angels? One of your heroes? Then, uh, I I believe I used forced. Uh, I believe I used the spell that causes a summoned creature to get under my control. Intimulation. Yeah, we're definitely taking this baby. That's yeah, a shame Yondor is currently dead, but hey, he's been dead before. It's probably just a mild inconvenience as far as he's concerned. make an underground Frostling city. Um, probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's fine if I do that. So, Frostling Settler. Uh, Stonewall. Actually, let me check my spell book while I'm here. Pretty sure there's a spell here that, uh, let's see here. Global spells, combat spells, here we are. Arcane Binding, yeah. Forces, uh, I believe if you complete a battle and they're already under control of Arcane Binding, they remain yours after the fight's ended. Yonder is triple dead by this point. Probably, but like I said, it's pretty much a mild inconvenience for him. The city has had some real, uh, let's build housing in here because we really need to get the city population up. But after that... Might as well do that, and why not? Some defenses here will be good. The sooner I can... Right now I mostly just want to get Age of Magic going, because once I do, everything else will fall into place. Honestly, the city is actually well, pretty well defended. I should probably move her over, this hero and their army, over to this elven city, just to be safe. And yeah, I should do everything that gives me some more mana income. Uh, grand palaces as well; those are not negotiable, given how heavily sorcerers have to rely on those spell casting. Here we are. Says closely matched, but I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure there was nothing that guy could do. Champion one. Holy crap, that's a powerful Eldritch horror. Alright, we're going to absorb this into our empire. Got an epic of the temporary Uh some of them do. Like I know convert will be permanent to afterward, as will domination. And yeah, I definitely want as much amount of income as possible. You guys can just sit there for a moment. Enter probable victory. Let's YOLO it. Yep. 
sure I'll take a ward. This I should probably send to the, uh, yeah. Excellent. Delicious bre second breakfast. Ooh, I like that. That gives a uh, nourishing meal. That's good to have. Ah, uh, yep, I met. See, I managed to take control of him. Sure, let him run. Take reward. Halfling's party kit. Ooh, I like the being able to inflict, da the idea of being able to inflict Dazzle. Alright, we'll just go ahead and wait here for the Lich Queen to come back. One round left. Cast Spell. Reinforce it to the best of our ability. There we are. Age of Magic. And more Eldritch Horrors. There we are. I obtained knowledge. Let's see, what's, can I research? Looks like I'm almost done. Not bad, actually. Might as well get double gravity since that's got a bonus to it. Good to get an observatory. Champion race governs Draconian. Echo the explosive. I'll need to be careful. These guys are starting to get to the point they can make a unifier victory. If it starts getting close, I'm going to have to de start declaring war. I was going to go with a unifier victory, but... Mm. Now, where did the Lich Queen appear? Nowhere here. It's probably one of the areas where the CPU is. In which case, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Now let's go with Chaos Rift, just because that's hilarious. That one is hilarious. All right. All right. So down here. First things first, summon this guy into her party. Enter. Auto combat, two Dread Reapers. Let's YOLO. Not a single unit lost. Draconian diet dish, fire breath, take reward. Sure. This is where a sorcerer having more spells in our repertoire is always good. Life steal, eh? Uh, let's send this to Dave the Brave. And let's send this to the, uh, the Ocrest. They have a bit more range options. Excellent. We're definitely cleaning house now. Truth be told, I probably could, at this point, I probably could start declaring war on the CPU and just win a conquest victory. In fact, I may do that. But first, I, uh, ooh. Alright, this guy, this guy's done, so... First of all, shrine. Yeah. Great temple, please. Arctic's Embassy. Unlocks production of yetis. Interesting. All the forefathers. Ooh, someone cleared this out earlier. In fact, it wasn't me. It does slightly concern me. However, they could have something particularly strong, but I should be okay, I guess. Mercenary camp. Sure. Confirm army movements. I 
probably reinforce this army here since the undead. There's a lot of oh balls. So that's what I was worried would happen. Where's that guy coming from? Yeah, something's down here. Yeah, my leader's in the best shape to explore here and see what exactly is going on, so let's do just that. Where did that guy come from? Because that was a Dread Reaper, that's... At this point in the game, any... Yeah, camps, enemy camps that are not taken care of are going to really, really cause some problems. And I'm going to have to do another... Well, no, let's not raise the Frosting Town. Let's uh, do the High Elf Metropolis. We'll make them go underground. High Elf Settler, once you're done with that, then. Can... Okay, then. It's just a Lich Spawn event. Oh, right. I forgot about that one. I was thinking, oh, crap. Um, I must have done something... Nah. Or maybe I neglected something, but nah. However, I do know this area, Dread Reapers don't come spawners. I wasn't sure, because I do know spawners can and do... I don't need this one. Can and do spawn some tier 4 units when they get especially powerful, like those, uh... Oh, nice. Sixth generation. Yeah, like those, uh... Snap, snap. That's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, yeah, the... Un the zombie dragons. Draco zombies. Ooh, excellent. Necromantic Aura. The undead unit has a chance to instantly come under that control. Undying. This unit will come alive two turns after it only works one through battle. I think it may actually be worth saving up just for undying. In fact, you know what? I'm going to save for undying. I love... I mentioned before, I'll say it again, I love how well Necromancer heroes can really snowball. And let's go ahead and bring in another uh, Eldritch Horror. Oh dang, I can just do it right now. Alright, we're going down here. Archons and Dragons, yeah, that must have been what I was thinking of. Those Archon Titans are an absolute nightmare. That guy died instantly. Dread Reapers are class exclusives. They don't run around. Okay, yeah, that makes okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like I said, I knew some of them. I just didn't know off the top of my head. All right, you just uh, stay here. Production. Now, the thing is, do I want to make stick with humans, or do I want to migrate this to another? Now that I think about it. It'll piss them off as the thing, but at the same time, I do. If I want to go with a unifier victor, I need another race happy with me. Uh, let me check what the races are opinions are of me. Starting race, founded a city. Mm. High elves and tigrans seem like a pretty solid option for this. Uh, Frostlings might be on piss just get pissed off if I do it here, so... It's gonna take too long, so let's migrate. It's an act of evil, but... I don't think I really need too many of these here, but... Yeah, I'll just put this here for now. Alright, now, Builder's Hall, followed by the Storehouse. That's been explored already. Leader's been getting some good experience out of this, at least. That's already explored. 
Halfling adventurers I've found are way more useful than it look like they'd be at a glance. Is there a master wild magic I looked out for heart structures? I have been, yeah. Well, first things first, Eldritch Horror. Why is the explo the explosive injured? Oh yeah, because of the Dread Reaper. Bill Yoon's been absorbed by the Empire, and we shall migrate it. Alright, storehouse. And yeah, I'll just focus on that. A tribute. I'll take some gold, thank you. Yeah, these are all explored, most likely by the other player there. Now, do I want to go risk going here? Let's do it. Here we are. Oh, that was worth it. Take reward. Fire, wall crushing. Pretty good, actually. I'll just take that. Here we are. Plus has fire protection, which is always good for a uh, Frostling, who normally is weak to fire. Yeah, weakness, 80% from others. I'd say that was worth the effort. Ah, uh, just sell for gold. Actually, this would be a good town location. Let's make a Frostling one to send down there, then. Frostling Settler, please. A uh, great temple, because I need more mana income. Master's Guild is fine. And there we are. My Empire's got a pretty good growth here. Uh, static electricity is pretty good for the general in the general sense. Physical protection is probably going to be a good inherently solid option, and I guess some more magic resistance just to make up for that deficit would be rather good. Ah, uh, wonderful. Ooh, Grand Palace. Definitely need the Grand Palace. This is also a good city location, so I'll put the Frostlings in here. Explored. Frostling Settler. There we are. Elder Horror goes in here. There we are. Racial governance up. Profits. Alright, all halfling cities gain happiness, or all halfling units have additional morale. Additional morale is probably good in the long run, so let's go with that. Alright, what do I want for this one here? champions won't do much since my enemies are all light. I guess I could start declaring war on people. The warlord is probably the most dangerous one right now. Hmm. 
Except we barely have any halfling units. Really, I thought I had a... Oh, right, I've been using mostly summons. Well, I don't think it matters in that case. It does not apply to heroes, no. Heroes, uh... I believe heroes are... Uh, don't have the ability to... No, heroes do have morale. In fact, I can probably check. I've got a halfling hero. I had a halfling hero. He might have died. No, uh, Dave the Brave is one. Let's see here. Halfling Prophet Military. Yep. So heroes do indeed bon benefit from this bonus. Actually, since I've got more than enough units, it might be worth going for the seal victory. Ooh, but he's got one seal in his domain. And they're going to declare war on me the moment they notice, so I just definitely need to shore up my defenses and prepare. Merlin's robe. Ooh, take reward, take reward. Oh, yeah, looks like we might be going for the seal victory this time. Alright. You guys can hang out here. Actually, let's go with this domain. Summon Dire Penguin. Seek inspiration. Is showing the morale rundown? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I just highlighted him. Yeah, Dave the Brave. Go down here. Halfling Prophet Military. So all Halfling units gain 200 happiness, including heroes. I don't think heroes will abandon you if their morale is low. They just have the fumble chance. Yeah, see? Halfling Prophet Military. Morale modifier. Unit is in hated terrain. Oh, if he's in hated terrain, I need to change that. Domain of Winter. Here we are. He's no longer... Yeah, see? He's no longer hates the terrain there. I should pro All right, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna go for the seal victory, so let's do that. Summon Eldritch Horror. Public baths for happiness. Again, that's all explored. Sure, let's make peace. You can just stay there, I guess. Confirm army movement. dangerous, but I should be fine for the moment. Mass stasis, always good. An underground magic academy. Interesting. Alright. Ooh, Grand Palace. Ha, this city was basically nothing, and I managed to grow it out in no time flat. Unexplored. I think we know where we're going next. Ooh, mind... Oh, no. Uh, sell for gold. And you, I can go ahead and just destroy you. I don't need you. Upgrade leader. Thunderstorm. Uh, 
uh, spirit shield might not be too bad, I guess. Yeah, at this point I might as well load her up with, uh... Go ahead and sell them. No, those are particularly impressive. I don't think so. Oh my. Let's move him so that I don't lose everyone in his movement. Enter. Auto combat. Easy. The crystal skull. Actually, that one might be worth keeping just because of true sight and, uh... Actually, I should probably send that to the Necromancer just to make sure they have true sight. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah. There we are. Alright, confirm movements. We're just gonna make some more cities. Resurrect hero in case I lose someone. Enchanted walls, because why not? Zephyr bird, because I guess more summons are always good. Terraformer. Seafaring. Uh, maybe next time we'll go with a map that has some water so that I can deal with. That could be interesting to have to work with. You received a proposal. We have something that'll make you happy. Oh, sure. Huh. Now, you guys I need to kill. Dang it, lost him. Ah, there's the, the, the culprit. I just need to get rid of that thing immediately. I think that's the last spawner. Water maps suck, though. Hurry, the palace? Oh, yeah. Mm, my only fear is that if I... You know what, I think that is worth it, because while that is going to give me a penalty... Yeah, I was trying to get the hard structure simply because of that, but oh my. Oh crap. Darn you, Settler. Yeah, that's my thing. Water maps require having to handle naval stuff, and I'm not really a fan of navies. Less space for cities, which also means less space for train structures and comp. Annoying. Yeah, I mean, I have one friend who loves the naval combat of this game, but I guess I'm just not. Ooh, yeah, undying. Keep crawling. Yes, yeah, I'm in a cave anyway. for Veldun. Hospital for more happiness would probably be ideal there. Blood altar. City has minus population growth, will not suffer happiness from her production. You're a little late on that, my friend. Oh well, enchanted thread. We are. And because I cleared this out, I'd need to expand this immediately to get a lot of boosted everything. Sure, why not?
Now this one I can probably sell, this one I can also sell. And that should be fine. Actually, no, I'll do that next time. As soon as the city's finished next turn so that I can uh, benefit from all that. Of course, I should have known he'd just take that city. I'm probably going to have to declare war with the Warlord Halfling no matter what. Banish Researched and Lesser Elemental. Oh my. Why to choose that city? Well, I guess I'll go for the shrine just so I have more production. Of the mana, that is. Laboratory. And Grand Palace, because I definitely need that. Reminds me, what's the uh, slowly founded city? Founded city, gain city through migration, racial governance XP, governance experience, ten governance experience, thirteen plus metropolis times two. I'll just leave that for now. It's probably worth it to begin declaring war or taking these seals. I'm gonna have to start declaring war, whether I like it or not. Right yeah, it's too much of a threat at this point. He's got a spell working. That looks all rather ominous, not gonna lie. to do this? Yes, I want to do this. Okay, then. Turns out war is inevitable. It 
city awaits its fate. Release has vassal. Yeah, I should have known. I figured he was probably going to try something like that. I'm glad I did declare war on him. But if we're worse, we do not have a choice. We must stuff him. That's actually a rather weak army. I should be able to take tackle him just fine. And of course, I should have her go north. See what we have to deal with here exactly. Swift migration. City options migrate and purge are instantaneous. Completed quest all knowing. Be the first to research all skills or two two new specializations at random. <clears throat> Might as well get the walls up just so I have the extra range. Might as well make sure those are all protected. Closely matched. YOLO. Aha! Ooh, we mind controlled a hero too. Oh yeah, because I gave, uh... Oh yeah, domination from the Elder Tor. I'd say that was worth it. I can probably really afford to release this as a vassal. Or I could migrate. These are all instantaneous after all. Halflings won't like it, but the High Elves will. Funny thing, you can get two master specials if you're lucky with all-knowing. Yeah, I know. That's rather crazy. Let me just check something here. Independence of your own race. Okay, so they don't might care if I declare war on an actual on an actual nation. It's only if I declare war on a. Uh... Wait, what am I doing? I need to get another. Yeah, elder tower here. Yeah, they only care if I declare war on independence, which makes sense. The independents are just trying to live their lives, and I'm ruining things. Fertility rights. I really, that one's really good, since as noted, I've had an issue with population, not enough population, toughness, all heroes gain 20%. Oh my. Uh, I imagine Revy doesn't want to have to compete for that particular seal. There we are. Now, what spoils did this person drop? A gun. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's give it to Allie Thistlewood since she's a mostly ranged specialist. Mm -hmm. Actually, I probably shouldn't stay on here. Oh, no one's defending this, basically. Alright, then.
release has Vaseline. All right. Warm at night, spirit of the land. Tangling touch. I guess some utility might not be too bad, actually. There we are. Upgrade leader. Good, 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 good. Strong will. Phase. Range strength is good. Might as well get some fire protection. And you know what, let's get some shock protection as well. I, we're not really gonna run into it, but might as well make load up my leader with special abilities. Baroneth, stone wall. Ah, lovely. Okay, Lunaris. <laughs> Underground. You guys can... I can't believe I almost missed that. I That would suck, losing my throne city. Rugged Pioneers, Labor Units Game Movements. It said closely matched, but there's no way a Warbreed can do anything to a, uh... Yeah, a Warbreed can't do anything to an Eldritch Horror. I should probably also summon another one in my city here just to make sure it's protected. Ernest Surrenders. My empire is crumbling across hopeless. I offer my throne and fealty. Very well. Uh, where's his throne city? The hero is leveled up. <laughs> Orc sorcerer. Ooh. Why would they give melee strength to a sorcerer? No matter. Uh, chain lightning for sure. Uh, where'd he go? Frost dragons. There we are. Ah, uh, that was the Lich Queen. Oh, wonderful. Dave the Brave is certainly going to appreciate that. Uh, I can sell. No, I should probably send this to someone. Yeah, there goes. They have a defensive item. I do not need this anymore. Lowered movement kind of sucks, but. Strong mount. Let's just sell this mount and give him the new upgrade. Excellent. Now let's just send this to. Yeah, her. More health. Good, 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 good. The city awaits its fate. Release has Vassal. Expansionism, outposts gain additional 20% of the population growth is doubled. That would have been nice earlier, that's for sure. Lorak Citadel, Mana Vault. Let's get a stone wall going here. 
an observatory. Sure, blood altar. Don't really need barracks there. Let's check the victory conditions here. Zero out of two. Looks like Revia and the others are starting to do their own. I may have to declare one Eco since he's the more uh, easier one to deal with. Actually, how am I doing with the? Uh... Ooh, yeah, I not. Yeah, going to war with independence really, really screwed my happiness mattifier for governance. However, the good news is the high elves are almost to the point where I can build another one there. The Tikrans are a little behind, unfortunately. I guess I could plop down another one of their cities. You know what, let's do that as well. Let's make some more cities to plop down here. Well, no, I have to be careful. This isn't like civilization where you just want to plop down a city every single place you possibly can. Nah. I mean, you can, but you want actual structures in the area if you want to get any kind of notable benefit. Yeah, let's make another settler in this city. And let's make a settler in this city. Actually, I could probably release this as Vassal. Since I don't, strictly speaking, need to directly control it. Alright, now, Builder's Hall, Storehouse. Oh, well, that's where he is. He teleported to my uh, leader here. Alright, then I'll just drop him and bring him into here. Alright, definitely gonna have to start going to war here. That has not been explored yet, so I might as well. An army requires your orders. Alright, oh, there we are. Auto combat? Yeah, that was basically nothing. I guess I don't need to worry about them, then. There's a city up there, however, that these guys should probably move towards. Oh, uh, go here for section movement, please. Come here. Ooh, that looks like an orc city. That should be useful. I did not build any combat units here, and I probably should have. Oh dear. We're good pioneers, earthquake. Let's go with public baths, observatory. Master's Guild, shrunk. I like to manual combat early in the game, but now that I'm snowballing, it's probably better to just uh, auto it. Nothing, pretty much nothing's a threat to me right now. March of the Troll King. Trolls rage over the map, they'll attack everything in their path. Ooh, actually, I may want to keep these guys here, then just protect the area. Actually, what am I doing? I can just do this. Elder Horror in each city. Governance up. 
All draconian cities are cheaper to build. Sounds good. Looks like we're getting ready to wrap this up. Ooh, finally. Frostling, champion economic. Temples now produce additional. Okay, good. You know what? Let's have this guy go here alone, since it's undefended anyways. Release his vassal. There we are. Actually, let's see here. Where's the teleport one to instantly bring me to the throne city? Here we are. Spell return. Alright. Probably gonna get a unifier victory a bit earlier than I expected, so... Alright, time to make as many stacks of these guys as we can. Alright, action with Southern all of a second. All of a sudden, weird. Alright, Earthquake. Deal 6 damage to walls. All units. Alright, City Quake. making money then. Actually change that. What's more important to me than money right now? Yeah, mana. You can just focus on that if you please. Um, focus on mana permanently please. Alright, now where do I want to put this city? Hmm. It wouldn't hurt to place it right there. There we are. Forge an alliance with the metropolis. There we are. Wow, it's defended by a catapult. Well, actually, that's not that silly. Wait, what am I doing? I didn't build it. Unif Unity Tower. Uh, if Revia's doing what I think she's doing, I may have to declare war. Cannot allow you to break the seal for your own benefit. Oh, they've declared war on me. I'm gonna have to just summon them all more of these horrors. Production for sale. Uh, public baths probably a good project. Focus mana, please. I don't need anything else from you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to start taking her on. It's gonna be a bit dangerous, but I... Hmm, 
this point, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a conquest victory, actually, but... as vassal. Upgrade hero. Wizard hunters. Sadly, none of these are going to be too helpful against a druid. But yeah, we really have to take out Revya next. She's become too powerful. here, so. Terrain's invalid. There we are. Could be a bit better, but could be worse. We can all need to break the seal. March the Troll King, one turn left. Your alignment changed pure good. Okay, good. Bow of poverty. All of the Okay, that only applies to money, but most of these are summoned, so I'm not worried about that. Rebirth might not be too bad, actually. Oh, but I don't have enough MP for it. Mm. Alright, we'll go with Divine Channeling and try it, see if we can't get that going. Caracol the Fiery. requires your orders. Revan Saren have forged an alliance. A necessary one since, to be blunt, neither of them is going to be able to survive against me. Ah, that's another Revia city. Oh, right, that's where she's getting her dragons. basically two stacks of Eldritch Horrors. There's no way she's gonna survive this. Proposal. Accept. Racial governance up. Storm Sisters with one damage, ignore range penalties. Let's go with the science then. Summon Qu City Quake. Excellent. Yeah, we're gonna have to go on the offense against Revia as soon as we can.
Light the beacon to prove the world you show unite under your banner. Active lighting the beacon inspires your followers. It gives a penalty to enemies. I might need to do just that. I can't rush that one, but I can start this one. Uh, public baths. Library of the Dark Arts. Ooh. I don't... Oh, yeah. I need time to absorb it. Hmm. Do I want to just raise it? It won't be used... No one can use it if I do that, but the same... Nah, let's just, uh, absorb it. Having some of these dragons on my side would certainly be a boon. No need to waste them, right? Unity Beacon Tower. Fighting them off in the middle of the road should lead a pretty... Yeah, there we are. Revy surrenders. Okay, good. My empire is crumbling. I cause hopeless eye for my children and fealty. There we well. All right, racial governance up as well. Not bad. for seal victory, but honestly, I think we're about to win. Yeah, I have no idea where his, uh... It must be entirely underground cities. Oh yeah, his cities are all, are indeed all underground. Summon Earth Elemental. Hospital.
Domain of Winter. There we are. River Cutting has lost. Has surrendered. That should protect, be able to protect that city. Yeah, they're gonna fall pretty easily. Oh my. Got left her underground cities, and they're not going to last much longer. Releases Vassal. Alright, the Necro is the last one here, and I should be able to take his stuff just fine. And we're going to win by conquest victory before the Unifier finishes. Easy. Toughness. That's what I wanted, alright. Now everyone has physical protection, which is accounts for the grand majority of damage, so it'll add up pretty quick. Public baths. Hospital for population growth. Great temple. Cannot restart production. Halfling required, 1,000 required. Oh my. Tribute gold, sure. Being able to summon two Eldritch Horrors every turn is a little uh, more than the game, more than most can handle, it seems. was thrown cities underground. Interesting. I don't remember the last time I've run into one of those. Yep, Throne of Echo the Explosive. Racial governance up. Oh, excellent. Uh, what kind of druidry can I do here? 
It might be best to just go with some more range strength. The resistances won't hurt. <clears throat> Upgrade hero. Stunning touch, spirit shield. No. Inflict stun's a pretty good one, but first of all. Yeah, sorcery too. More chain lightning casts will always be welcome. I was like the Grand Palace here too. Excellent. Golden Lair. The Golden Dragon. Dave the Brave has done it again. It's probably something that someone who needs it. Absorb the giant's lair. Oh no. Release his vassal. Ooh. Throne city and it's completely undefended. How convenient for me. Well, that didn't work out as well for him as he was probably hoping, huh? Lost a lot of really good units with that. But dang. I guess I should have known the Paragon one would live. Inflict Brain Rot. Melee and range have a real chance to inflict Brain Rot. Unit you know, suffering has minus one casting. Metal. Inflict Daze. Yeah, these this guy is absolutely ridiculous with how powerful he is. Champion 2. Might as well just summon a few more. release has the vassal here. I see no reason not to keep going, really. Upgrade your hero. Invoke death. Don't work on machines, unfortunately, but I can. Increase. Uh, melee strength, actually. We're going all out offense on here. Now let's see here. Leaf shield. Ooh, that's really out of date. not doing too good. Yeah, that really worked well, I think.
There we are. This is just getting sad now. Ah, well. Received a proposal. Accept. That must have been one of Revia's cities. Huh. I guess she was underground a lot more than I thought. There we are. Ooh, more, I see. Leader upgrade time. Floating strong will. Level 17, she's really getting close to the cap now, I think. Hit points. Yeah, more hit points. That should be fine for now. Select like production, hospital, library, siege workshop. to, uh, yeah. There's a fire area, so the Tigrans would probably be ideal here. I don't really need this, so I'll sell that. Don't really need too many ranged weapons either. My. How is the Necro still alive? He must have some underground cities I haven't dealt with yet. Yeah, that's the only explanation that makes sense. He's, that was a desperate move on his part. He's probably desperate, and that's why he's on here. Yeah, 12 turns till I win. He's still got one, it seems. That's probably why he hasn't surrendered yet. He thinks so, as long as I still have that. I think it might be within our best interest to get stop those guys. And bring the other Eldritches with us. We need a big army. Mana, please. Upgrade hero. Oh, he completely reset himself. Well, let's make him a melee unit. We don't... I find that warlords really make a great army leader, but if we're not going to be doing that, well... Bloodbath, in the most brutal ways imaginable, leaving nothing but... Bestowed with this five attacks, no little friendly units. I can make his personal combat a lot better, at least, at the very least.
There we go. start. Oh sure I can light, can I, I can't light this beacon either. That's one of his cities as well. Dang, he really had a big empire. It was just entirely underground. Studio has been purged. Transit the Great Wolf. Soon wild animals will appear. Oh my. governance up. It's fun stacking up all these uh, elder horrors and then just slamming them into enemies like that. It's not the most practical strategy, but I don't regret it. Let's see here. Arati. Hospital, Master's Guild, Laboratory. Yeah, as expected, he's got another city here. was among those guys. There we are. Dwelling. That looks like an undead city, actually. Did you as independent vessel? Shrine of Forge Alliance. Did you? Release of a lock. Racial governance up. Metal 
Draco the Explosive. I captured the throne city while he was in the void. Excellent. Now, what's the goods here? Has won a battle. A hero's leveled up. Tree Crusher. That can be fun, but not as practical, I don't think. Let's fate. Sir release his vassal. Does Saren even have a capital city now that I think about it? Because I just captured this one, which he started with. Here we are. There's no way he's going to survive this. Here we are. On turn 24, you slain Saren the Black, annihilating all opposition. Excellent. Score. Yeah, I was really run away there. Ernest was actually doing really, really well for a while, as was Revia. If I wasn't careful, they could have done something pretty dangerous to knowledge score. Happiness. It was all over the place. Military. Yeah, until I started being able to summon reliable stuff, namely the Phantasm Warriors, my army was really slow to get hit the ground running, but once I got the stronger summons, it was over, basically. Domain. Seals. Oops. There we are. I was just about to win with the seal score, so either way, the game was over there. And yeah, that game was a lot more rough to start out with, but it wasn't nearly as bad as the Arch Druid match. Hmm. I want to think about what I want to do for the next one. I might do another, uh, another simple match here, maybe with some more AI opponents, see how well I can get things going, maybe we can get some alli more alliances and stuff, or maybe I'll just, or maybe I'll try another game, been uh, trying to think of what, which one to do next, but I guess uh, nothing's really hit me specifically. I can't, oh yeah, Final Fantasy XIV's upcoming patch is gonna hit, and when that happens, I'll definitely be streaming that, but. Let's see, how long was it go for? Two and a half hours? I guess that's long enough. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. I keep my, I save my VODs for as long as Twitch allows, so if you ever need them, they'll be there. Right. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.